In this video, we will explain every popular looks mixing method using science. Mewing. Mewing simply means that you change the resting position of your tongue. You place your tongue against the roof of your mouth and swallow excess air to create a vacuum effect. This position forces nasal breathing and correct posture. There is a lot of scientific evidence proving that these are the two most important factors for proper facial development and especially for achieving jaw forward growth. Mewing isn't magic, but it works. Carrot mixing. Carrot mixing is the idea that eating lots of carrots will give you a golden tan. And that's actually true. Carrots contain beta-carotene, which can tint the skin over time. Multiple studies show that this can increase perceived attractiveness. But be careful, too much beta-carotene can make your skin look orange, not glowing. Height mixing. In 1922, the average man was just 162 centimeters tall. Today, the average man is 178 centimeters tall. That's a 16 centimeter increase in just three generations. This significant height increase is not due to genetics or evolution. We have nearly the same genetic height limit as our ancestors. But thanks to better nutrition and hygiene, newer generations are now exceeding 180 centimeters on average. So the goal of height mixing is to optimize nutrition to a degree where the genetic height limit can be reached before growth plates close. This is done by consuming more protein, healthy fats and especially more calcium. Foods rich in those are eggs, red meat, bananas, fish, nuts and fruits. Ice mixing. The goal of ice mixing is to ice the face in the morning to de-bloat and get sharper facial features. And yes, it works. There are countless studies proving that cold causes blood vessels to constrict, which results in reduced puffiness and makes the face look more defined. It will also help with inflammation, especially if you have dry or acne-prone skin. Towel method. The towel method is a mystified term, but essentially it just means biting on a wet towel to train the jaw muscles. Social media claims that it reduces facial fat and gives you a better jawline. And yes, this method can strengthen your jaw muscles, however, it won't give you the results you're hoping for. First, there's countless evidence proving that it's not possible to spot reduced fat. And second, training your jaw muscles this way can cause facial asymmetry, misaligned teeth and a distorted appearance. Hunter mixing. The goal of hunter mixing is to train the muscles around your eyes to achieve so-called hunter eyes. Hunter eyes are characterized by being deep set and having no upper eyelid exposure. Studies show that individuals with hunter eyes are generally perceived as more attractive. However, there is currently no scientific evidence proving that hunter eye exercises work. And it gets worse. The skin around your eyes is the thinnest on the whole body. Stretching or contracting this type of skin will cause movement wrinkles, which results in significant visual aging. Potassium mixing. The goal is to consume more potassium, which is believed to result in a leaner, more defined appearance by de-bloating your face. And yes, this actually works. Potassium helps to balance sodium levels in the body, which directly impacts how much water you hold under the skin. By eating more potassium-rich foods, you can flush out excess water, leading to a significantly leaner and more defined appearance. However, keep in mind that fluid balance is about the right ratio of sodium to potassium, so overdoing it like that will not work. Lean maxing. The goal of lean maxing is to reduce the overall body fat percentage to make the face look more defined and sharp. Multiple studies show that facial fat will influence your looks immensely and losing it is the most effective way to improve facial aesthetics. However, you do not need to starve yourself. A study by Fink and colleagues showed that being 12 to 14% of body fat is optimal regarding perceived attractiveness. Maasai jumping. The average Maasai man stands at 6 foot 3, making them the tallest man in the world. Their height is mainly credited to a specific tradition called the Maasai jump. At ceremonies, they repeat jump up and down. This repeated force on the bones might stimulate bone growth. The concept behind it is called Wolf's Law, which states that bones adapt to mechanical force, similar to how training in the gym stimulates muscle growth. So the goal of performing Maasai jumps is to stimulate bone growth in the legs, resulting in increased overall height. But be aware, on paper this could work. However, there is currently no scientific evidence supporting this exact use case. If there are any studies being conducted in the future, we will definitely present them on this channel. Thumb pulling. Thumb pulling is the idea of pulling the face forward by placing your thumbs against the inside of the top of your mouth, called the upper palate, and applying pressure outwards and up. The goal is to improve mid-face projection and facial development. Sounds great if there was any scientific evidence that this would work. But there isn't because it does not work. And every single influencer we found promoting this method was selling a course or their school community, so be aware. Eyebrow mixing. The goal of eyebrow mixing is to increase the thickness and darkness of your eyebrows, as well as to optimize their spacing. Increasing thickness and darkness is usually achieved by using rosemary oil and microneedling to promote hair growth. And it works. Studies show that men with thicker and darker eyebrows are consistently perceived as more attractive and masculine. Many people use minoxidil instead of rosemary oil because it is significantly more effective. However, please keep in mind that minoxidil is not yet officially approved for facial usage. Another effective yet often overlooked method is adjusting the spacing of your eyebrows. For example, if the distance between your eyes is naturally narrow, then you can trim your eyebrows slightly farther apart to create the appearance of a more balanced out eye spacing. Gym mixing. 
The goal of gym maxing is to build a lean athletic body, which significantly increases perceived attractiveness. A study by Müller and colleagues showed that being athletic and lean increases attractiveness by over 30% for both genders. Lifting also boosts testosterone and growth hormone. Both are linked to more defined and masculine facial features over time. Beard maxing. Beard mixing is the idea of maximizing your beard growth, thickness and style to enhance facial aesthetics, especially jawline definition and overall masculinity. A well-grown beard can create the illusion of a stronger chin, a better jawline and better facial symmetry. That's why some guys look unrecognizable, clean-shaven. Your beard growth is mostly genetic. But by using serums or minoxidil in combination with microneedling, you can speed up the process and fill out a patchy beard. Multiple studies show that a beard drastically increases perceived masculinity. But please keep in mind that increased masculinity does not have to equate increased attractiveness. Saigo pushing. Saigo pushing is the belief that you can grow your cheekbones by literally pushing on them with your thumbs. The concept behind it is simple. Regular force might stimulate bone remodeling, similar to how braces move teeth. However, unlike orthodontics, saigo pushing probably lacks both intensity and duration needed to induce structural change. And there are no studies supporting its effectiveness, at least yet. Sleep mixing. Sleep maxing is the idea of optimizing your sleep, not just for energy or recovery, but to actively improve your appearance. Studies consistently show that during deep sleep, your body releases growth hormone, reduces cortisol, and repairs the skin and connective tissue. That means reduced puffiness, clearer skin, and even better eye area definition. Chronic sleep deprivation, on the other hand, increases inflammation and water retention, making your face look dull, bloated, and older. Bone smashing. The goal of bone smashing is to make your facial bones grow thicker and more pronounced by hitting them with a hard object like a hammer. The idea also comes from Wolf's Law, but there's not a single study backing that up. And even if it worked, it would be nearly impossible to remodel the bones symmetrical on your own. And even worse, studies show that repeated head impacts, even low intensity ones, can reduce cognitive function over time. Think of professional boxers like Mike Tyson. Hi, I'm Mike Tyson. Watch me beat Peter McNeely on Comcast Cablevision. The looks maxing industry is full of people who try to exploit your insecurities by selling you their course, their guide or their school community. Sadly, on social media, the more extreme your opinion is, the more viral it gets. That's why influencers advertise methods that are not scientifically backed, methods that don't work and methods that will harm you. So next time you see a trend on social media, please do your own research before trying it or simply subscribe to our channel. All of our videos are 100% sponsor free and we will always try to deliver high quality research content. I hope this video was helpful. Please leave a like. See you next time. Bye.